doctor might ask you to get a second measure of ejection fraction for any number of reasons. It could be that perhaps last year an echo indicated that your ejection fraction was between 60 and 65 percent and this year it's saying it's between 50 and 55 percent all of which is normal for an echocardiogram, but maybe the physician wants to know, is this a real change or is it just uh, the way that the measurement was done? No, you shouldn't be worried about another procedure to pin down the ejection fraction. It's just that the ejection fraction can vary a little bit. The normal ejection fraction can vary a little bit by what method we use to measure it. And for instance, an echocardiogram is probably the least accurate, least reproducible, but it's the easiest to get. So very frequently you get an ejection fraction that's measured by echo that's dependent on the geometry of the heart and it may indicate a change or may indicate a number that's a little bit low and your physician might want to pin that down a little bit more with another measurement of ejection fraction that's maybe a little more accurate, a little more reproducible.